So NAR, which has fought for years against um, allowing people to offer 0% commission, has now just miraculously endorsed the policy. So you can now offer 0% commission. Uh, you, By the way, any agents in the field right now, you're going to probably want to wait until you get some type of official email, but this is the announcement from NAR. And the 500 or so MLSs that they the, they uh, they own and are control or influence several hundred MLSs across the country, uh, you'll now be able to offer 0% commission or $0 to a buyer agent, according to NAR. Now, here in Massachusetts, uh, the MLS PIN, which is the largest MLS, is not owned by their realtor association. It's broker-owned. But their rules tend to follow almost exactly the NAR rules. So, um, again, you're going to want to wait. If you're in the field, you're, you're actually an agent. You're going to want to wait for some official notification from either your broker and or your MLS service. But effectively, what they're saying right now, and this is a huge reversal, um, a stunning admission of guilt is what the uh, attorneys in the Stitzer Burnett, which is the major uh, Midwest antitrust case, um, they're basically saying, hey, this proves that you're guilty, is what they're saying. Uh, all of this is happening, again, through the backdrop of the Department of Justice and their no-select statement of interest that we mentioned at the beginning of the show. Uh, DOJ, zero commissions, not enough. Regardless of whether that investigation proceeds, the DOJ has made it clear that just making the offering of compensation optional by allowing 0% commission does not go far enough. On Thursday, September 28th, this is according to Inman, the federal agency filed a statement of interest in the antitrust case similar to Stitzer Burnett in the Morrell cases in our local MLS PIN, uh, no select case. NAR was not named in the defendant case, but the broker owned MLS in New England, MLS PIN, uh, is no select challenges the commission rule as we spoke about and the doj said that they had significant concerns now i read you this quote yesterday but it comes with a, an additional one that's very very important here evidence of other multiple listing services suggests that merely tweaking the buyer broker commission rule to allow zero percent commissions does little to unfetter a market from competitive conduct Further, the Department of Justice wrote, rules such as those presented may merely perpetuate an antitrust violation through a slightly modified means. MLS's PINS rule changes still establish an elaborate protocol regulating buyer broker commissions, including the listing broker to initially set the total amount of commission, even if it's zero. Thus, MLS PIN would continue to facilitate uh, a blanket uh, unilateral offers of compensation to buyers, brokers. And basically what the Department of Justice is saying is in the Northwest MLS, which is way out on the other side of the country, they already have adopted this type of change. Um, and But virtually all sellers continue to offer commission and almost all at a commission rate at 2% or above. In other words, what the Department of Justice is doing is they're looking at Northwest MLS and probably also Bright MLS, which recently adopted the rule in August. And they're saying it's made no difference. This is a distinction without a difference, which has been the biggest question the whole time was if you could always offer a dollar. Remember, I did that in 2019. I offered I listed a condo with a commission of one dollar. I first listed it with zero dollars. And then they sent me an email. I actually have it here on the computer. They sent me an email in 2018. Oh, you can't do that. Uh, please take the appropriate action, they wrote me. As noted above, no later than the close of business, if the requested action has not been taken, we would be forced to remove the listing from the multiple listing service. So that was in 2018 when I offered, 2019, when I offered 0% commission and I changed it to a dollar uh, after getting a written change of the listing agreement. And yeah, so now apparently, again, wait for the official email, but according to NAR, you will now be able to list it for zero. But 
according to the Department of Justice, from a market point of view, it's not going to make any difference, which, why, which is why anybody watching this thing can see that it appears as if the Department of Justice is going for the throat and their strategy appears to, to want to ban the seller from paying the buyer side fee at all. That's the way I'm looking at it, right? This is war for the Department of Justice. And the fact that NAR is rolling over on this now is they're trying to throw you will, they're trying to throw the Department of Justice, the Stitzer people, a bone that doesn't really matter. Now, your folks are real estate agents and you do negotiations. Ever take a position in a negotiation that really wasn't important to your clients, but it was a tactic in order to get something that was important to your client? Ever be a stickler? about um let's just uh, like the yard furniture oh you can't have the yard furniture you want the yard for we, we will not allow you to have the yard furniture so you make a big uh stink about the yard furniture in order to get something else but the yard furniture is a straw man and that's exactly what's happening with uh this zero percent commission thing effectively in the marketplace it doesn't make any difference and the Department of Justice has seen that. And so they want to go even further than that. And it sounds to me as if they want to ban sellers from paying buyer side commissions at all.